Oh, I'm missing you. Tell me how the road turns. I think that's how that song go. Oh, well, anyway. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, folks. So, you know, maybe I'm in the minority here, okay? Hear me out. I think that Tyson Fury firing Ben Davidson, I thought that was a big mistake. I've been thinking that for some time because, number one, um, Ben Davidson might not be the most technical trainer out there. You know, not the most technical, but I do think that uh, he addresses the mental probably just as good as any trainer. Might not be the most technical trainer. See, Tyson Fury, he was already a guy that, that has a high level of skill. Okay? So, I mean, what, what, what could Ben Davidson truly show Tyson Fury that he really didn't know? And I think Tyson Fury definitely know more than Ben Davidson. Definitely know more than Ben Davidson. So, we can cut that out right there. I think Ben Davidson, though, took Tyson Fury on a mental approach. And I think the mental approach, to me, was the idea. Um, you know, yeah, Ben Davidson, he was Tyson Fury's do boy. I mean, Tyson Fury used to go, you know, tell Ben Davidson to go get him stuff to eat, go, you know, uh, chase women for him and all his other crap. I mean, you know, Ben Davidson was just a do boy, okay? Uh, that's just what he was. He's a damn do boy, okay? He did whatever he was told, you know, pretty much like a little slave. <laughs> Tyson Fury's slave. Yep, that's what he was. And so, with that, with him being a do boy, okay? With him being a do boy, um, you know, kind of had me thinking kind of had me thinking to myself, you know, who is Tyson Fury going to depend on? Who is he going to depend on? Like, who is he going to depend on? Because, you know, whoever he get for a trainer, that person, they're not going to want to listen to Tyson Fury talk about his mental issues. You know, Ben Davidson, he was willing to do that. You know, he was willing to do it for a check anyway, and he did. Okay, he was willing to do it for a check, and that's what that's what he did. That's what happened. Ben Davidson did it. He did it for the check. But he was actually very, very, very good at it. You know, that's just what it is. He was good. Um, I think Tyson Fury, he's scrambling. You know, I think he's scrambling. He made a lot of changes to his camp, man. And, you know, that's kind of leading me to believe that Tyson Fury don't really believe that, you know, I don't think he believed that he can do this. And I think Wilder is going to knock Fury out probably by round six. I think Tyson Fury probably going to go to sleep. Um, here's why. Here's why. First of all, Tyson Fury, number one, he, he's put on some weight. Now, you know, I don't think Tyson Fury, though, he looks like he's in decent shape, but he looks bigger. You know, you can definitely see uh, some muscle tone in Tyson Fury. I've seen a little bit more muscle tone in him this go around. And, you know, I think he is in shape, and I think he's taking the fight seriously. But I just think that his confidence is not through the roof. Like, the first fight, Tyson Fury was talking, I mean, he was talking real reckless. And, you know, this time, he's not really talking as reckless as he was the first time, you know. He, he's, he's almost kind of pretty much just, like, conceded to, like, you know what, whatever going to happen, going to happen. You know, I feel like, like, that's where his mind is. You know, and I don't know if anybody else is feeling that way, too. But I think that, you know, he's pretty much conceding, like, whatever happens, it's just going to happen. You know, it is what it is. Whatever happens, it's just going to happen. And, you know, if I don't do it, I don't do it. If I do do it, I do do it, okay? And that's just the way it is. Um, yeah, Tyson Fury, he's already a strange character, okay? He's already fairly a strange, strange character. But, you know, that so close to the fight. And fighters, they change trainers all the time, okay? They do. Um, <laughs> but, man, this man, he's going through like a mental roller coaster. And unfortunately, you know, people are talking about, you know, Tyson Fury got in Wilder's head when he got up. I don't know. I think Wilder is a bit more mentally strong than Tyson Fury. I think he's much more mentally strong. Um, and I just think Wilder, man, is just that kind of guy, man. He's, he's just, Wilder's ferocious, okay? He's extremely ferocious. Come on, y'all, let's get it in. Wilder's ferocious. And, you know, Wilder just don't really care about a whole lot of things when it comes to you and the ring, and to the ring. Like he was even saying if he fought his own brother, he said he was going there and try to take his own brother head off. So Deontay Wilder's just, he crazy. And, you know, you take a mentally a crazy guy like Wilder, you put him in there with you, 
and then you're going through these mental whatever you're going through these mental lapses or these mental whatever you're going through it's just it's not a safe fight for tyson fury i, I don't know man i can't see t uh, fury trying to pull us out i can't see him do it um and you know if he do you know what what's up hey you know what it is you especially you and you know i, I kind of see it like this man if uh if he mentally can't get it done what's all that junk you was talking yeah what's all that junk you was talking what junk what junk ain't nobody what ain't nobody <laughs> checking for you ain't nobody checking for you what? Told you I get here, ain't bro. nobody checking for you ain't nobody checking for you that's what you get don't be mean to the coach okay yeah you better be careful but anyway yeah sorry about that y'all um tyson fury <laughs> guys i don't know y'all i don't think he can pull this off um and then too i see wilder working on a lot of things you know i see wilder really 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 putting his jab into play and i see wilder working that jab as hard as he can and i think wilder is is going to really lay that jab out on tyson fury and i think he's going to start hitting fury with a couple of combinations and i think wilder this time, he's not going to be in such a rush to knock him out, okay? And I think the openings will present itself. Tyson Fury, he's not, like, unavoidable. He's, he's hittable, okay? He's been hit before. He's very hittable. Uh, sorry about the jump rope, y'all. Hold on. Let me come on outside. People getting ready to train. You know, he's not, like, unavoidable. He's not, like, the most unhittable. You can hit Fury. I mean, if Otto Wallen was able to hit Fury, you don't think Deontay Wilder would be able to hit Fury? I mean, you know, people are saying that, you know, Wilder just don't have this. He don't have that. Well, it's funny, man, how Wilder just tends to drop everybody that gets in there with him. Somehow he finds a way to do it. And I just think a guy like Wilder in there, with the way he feels and the way he thinks, and, you know, Wilder want to, you know, kill dudes and take him out of there. You know, I don't know, man. And Fury, he's so mentally unstable. I just don't know. What's going on? I just don't know. All right. Don't, don't interrupt this. Y'all stretch out. You again. Silly. But anyway, y'all, they keep interrupting. I got to get this thing going. I got wilder by six round knockout, okay? I got wilder by a six round knockout. Um, I don't think Fury be getting up this time. Um, I think Fury's probably, you know, he's going to do some good work. The fight is going to be a good fight for as long as it lasts. I don't see wilder dominating this fight because people, they still forget that Tyson Fury can fight. I mean, he can fight. I don't care if he got pi pillow punches. I don't care if you think he can't punch or the guy can fight. Okay, and Fury also needs to get credit because not only, you know, him and Bermain's to burn, not only, you know, is he fighting, you know, Wilder, he's fighting him twice. Well, you got people like Anthony Joshua, hell, who won't even fight Deontay Wilder one time? You know, people saying, well, you know, Fury was avoiding him, hell. Yeah, you know, the man damn near, he got, he got almost got killed in that fight. I would have took some time off too, man. You got to come back and you got to strategize. Y'all go ahead, just stretch out. Y'all, I mean, you got to strategize with a guy like Wilder. I mean, you got to strategize. You can't just go back in there. And, you know, like, I don't, and people, I couldn't understand it, man. Well, he duck, he didn't really duck him. I mean, Fury needs some time. He needed some time to regroup. And he did. He did it. Played it perfect with the WWE. He did that perfectly. He uh, disguised it. But, you know, really secretly, he was strategizing, trying to figure out what he was going to do in the second fight. And it was a smart move by Fury. So I think people need to back up off Fury just a little bit. You know, you can call him a crackhead, cokehead, or whatever you want to call him. But the man got the guts to get in there again with Deontay Wilder. Okay, and it's not a lot of fighters. I mean, like I said before, a lot of people, they're not going to get in there with him the first time. And that, it's just the way that is.